what are they saying? They are saying that they want their children back. They are saying that their children are alive. They are asking questions. They want to know where their children are. Would they still come back? And the fact that it is still an open wound, there is no acknowledgement, for instance, from this current administration of that particular situation. There is no official acknowledgement that we still have 90-something of the girls still in abduction. There is no commitment that has been made. You know, if not for these 10 years commemorative activities, you know, we would almost not see anything on the media. The last time anything came up was on August 14, you know, 2023, when we had another Chibo girl escape. And so the, the parents are asking, you know, where are, our, where are our girls? Are they still coming back? You know, somebody used the word, are you guys giving these people false hope? Somebody said that to me yesterday. And I said, so long as there is no um, official statement as to the number of girls that have died, some of the Chibok girls that have returned have come back to say, oh, 18 of the girls have died. Some has, um, another journalist has said 20 something of the girls have died. But the federal government of Nigeria, they have bears the primary responsibility and duty to communicate the official position has not said anything. And so we cannot, based on hearsay at best, tell the parents that, oh, you, your child have died, you, your child is still alive. And so they are asking questions. And the same way they are asking questions, Nigerians are also asking questions. That where are the Chibo girls? Nigerians are also asking questions regarding Leah Sharibu. Nigerians are asking questions regarding the missing persons. If you recall that in 2014, we also started advocating for the establishment of a missing persons register in Nigeria. We at Bring Back Our Girls actually commenced that particular advocacy. <coughs> We had meetings at the National Human Rights Commission. They were mandated, but funding was not provided, and that National Missing Persons Register <coughs> was never operationalized. We also have been seeing questions regarding communication. You know, 16 of the girls that came back are under the care of the Borno State Government. Parents are asking, have they gone to school? Have they graduated? What are they doing? What sort of support are they getting? Are they getting psychosocial support, medical support? What's the current situation? So even parents of some of the girls that have come back are asking questions, including parents of the girls that are yet to be, to, to be returned.